Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Chef Girl RD. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a homemade strawberry ice cream. And we're going to be making this right in the Ninja Foodie Hot and Cold Blender. All right, so let's go over the ingredients. Today I'm going to be using one cup of frozen strawberries. And you can certainly use fresh, that's fine. Uh, I have one cup of whole milk. And then I have one and a quarter cup of heavy cream. And then over here I have a half a cup of sugar. And then over here in this bowl, I have two tablespoons of strawberry powder. Now this is not required for this recipe, um, but it definitely enhances the flavor and it gives a really nice color. So the good thing about this, there's no sugar added. So it's not gonna make it any sweeter. It's just gonna give a little stronger strawberry flavor and that's because it's basically just dehydrated strawberries crushed into a powder. So I'm gonna be using that today. Now you can get this on Amazon. Um, also, I have my uh, xanthan gum. So this is basically just a thickening agent. It's used for like soups and uh, purees and gravies and whatnot. This you can also get on Amazon. And this, what I'm gonna be doing though, I'm gonna mix it in with my strawberry powder. So if you don't use the strawberry powder, I would just use this and mix it in with your sugar. But you definitely wanna to try to use this because this is gonna help eliminate uh, any ice crystals forming from in the ice cream. And I'm just gonna take that now. So for this, I'm gonna be using, uh, say one heaping teaspoon. And that should do it. And we're just gonna mix that up. Mix it up really good, like it was never there. All right, good enough. All right, so now we'll just start by adding our milk into the blender. And I'm gonna add my heavy cream. Next, I'm going to add my strawberry powder with my xanthan gum mixed in. And my half a cup of sugar. And that's it. I'm going to hold off on my strawberries. I'm going to put that lid on. Lock it. And we're going to turn on the blender. And we're going to use the ice cream option. So now I'm going to take my strawberries and I'm just going to toss them in through the top. And I could have taken the whole lid off and just dumped them in, but I like to make things difficult sometimes. Not that this is overly difficult. All right. And now that I've had my strawberries, I'm just going to pulse a few times. Nice. So you can see the strawberries 
or in there, the bits. There's a few chunks. I don't want too many big ones, but this looks good. And over here, I just have my two plastic containers that I'm going to be using. And we will start by just distributing the ice cream mixture into each. This picture is heavy because it's glass, so I'm doing my best over here. All right. And I'm just gonna scrape the rest off camera. Give me a minute. And I'll just show you what I'm doing. I just needed to scrape the sides. This is a thicker mixture than uh, the chocolate ice cream that I had made. So it's a little trickier to get out, but we're going to do it. And I'm going to tell you right now, some of this uh, got on my fingers and I actually tasted it. And this is going to be amazing. So I'm really excited. But let me scrape this. All right, so this is what we got. Pretty much got all of it. And I'm going to just, I'm just gonna try to level it out for when it freezes so it's nice and level. You have to go crazy, but. All right, next. Smells really, really good. All right, looks good. So now I'm just gonna take some saran wrap or cling wrap, whatever you like to call it, plastic wrap. And you can use parchment paper if you want, but I like to use the cling wrap. Just kind of let it sit down onto that top. All right, something like that. All right, I'm not going to go crazy. And put my lid on. And I'll do the other one. All right, so these are all set to go in the freezer. I'm going to say you want to freeze these for a good 10 to 12 hours um, at a minimum, but I'm just going to go overnight. It's about 6 p.m. right now. I'll probably check them tomorrow afternoon. So stay tuned and I will see you tomorrow afternoon. All right, guys, welcome back. So I have one of my two containers of ice cream here. And I did let this sit out for a good 15 minutes. It actually got really hard. Um, it froze very well, which is fine. Uh, you just want to let it sit out a little bit before you try to scoop it. So hopefully I let it go long enough. And I'm going to scoop into this and see how it came out. Yeah, I could have left it go a little longer, but that's okay. It looks good. Let's scoop some of that in there. Oh, yeah. I could have let it go a little longer, but that's fine. Oops. I'm going to eat that. Mmm. 
yummy oh my gosh all right i wasn't supposed to taste it yet but let me tell you all right so i did let that sit for a little bit longer just to get a little softer you can really see how creamy it is now and this is perfect what do you guys think does not look good so of course i'm going to try it again Hmm. This is really good. I'm really glad I went with the strawberry powder. I really think it makes a big difference. So you don't have to use it like I had said, but I think you're going to find the flavor to be a lot richer and more strawberry if you do. So that's about it, guys. This is delicious. It's nice and creamy. It's got bits and pieces of strawberry. I don't like big chunks of strawberry. But you can certainly do that if you make it and leave the chunks a little bigger. Just do that pulse maybe once instead of, I think I did two or three times. So that's about it. That's how you make strawberry ice cream in the Ninja Foodie Hot and Cold Blender. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that like button and be sure to subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Bon appetit, guys.